All right, so we're talking about skin again, guys. If you saw my other video about my day routine, again, 36-year-old uh, CRNA, I get questions all the time about what I'm doing for my skin. Uh, people think that I look younger than 36. I'm so thankful for that when you guys tell me those compliments. But I want you to know what I do. And now again, just like I said in the other video, none of these are sponsored. Uh, none of these brands know I'm talking about them and I'm not endorsing them or saying you need to use them. These are what work well for me, but you asked me, so I'm gonna tell you. So first thing when I get home uh, and I'm getting ready for bed is I use uh, my cleanser. This is the type of cleanser that I use at night. It's pretty good at really getting a lot. It's got some salicylic acid in it, which is really nice to get some of the junk and you know dead skin off your face uh, throughout the whole day where you've been out and about, maybe at the hospital and stuff. And then after that, I like Biosance. Biosance is like a really nice, just the aesthetics of Biosance and the feel of this brand is really nice. And this is Copper Plumping Serum and uh, squalene and copper peptide rapid plumping serum. It's just nice, it's got a little hy hyaluronic acid in it, it's got some um, just really good, I feel like it makes my face just kind of feel more plump and glow at night. And so I don't know, I mean, it's not that necessary of a step, I just have it because of Derm that I follow on YouTube, Dr. Lee, shout out to you guys, they really liked it, I tried it, I liked it. Then next step, also Biosance, I use this squalene eye cream and this is just a little touch of this. You just put this on, just a little dab of it, just right underneath your eye and rub it up here. And that I use next because I use it as a barrier before I apply my Retin-A, my Tretinoin. This is the GOAT, as many of you guys know. If you're not using Retin-A, you probably should be. And um, I just do a little, uh, like a pea-sized amount, but I also have to be very careful not to get near my eyes right here. And I apply it, you know, like here, here, and then around here, but I don't apply it too much right here or right here, because as you can see, even now, you might be able to see a little bit of redness here on my face. But if I apply anywhere right here, and especially if I don't apply this barrier beforehand around my eyes, this tretinoin will definitely make my eyes really inflamed. So definitely do that, and then, I will apply a moisturizer after your tretinoin. You definitely want to give some good hydration to your skin after the tretinoin. So I either use, again, Biosance. Who can tell? I like this brand. Um, this is a really nice squalene, let's, squalene and probiotic gel moisturizer. I just like the feeling of this one. It's kind of light. It's got like a nice light finish, but and it's kind of liquidy. But I don't always use this one. I rotate moisturizers a lot of times. So this is another one that's a little bit cheaper and also a really good brand. It's a little bit thicker, especially in the winter time and you want a thicker moisturizer. It's called ELF, and ELF Holy Hydration Face Cream. And this one's kind of a thicker texture, a thicker feel, very nice feel to it. And I'll rotate back and forth between those. And that is essentially all that I do for my night routine. Every once in a while, I will use like once or twice a week, I will use this as an exfoliant and I, and I swap out. I don't use this the same time that I use my Tretinoin or Retin-A. So if I'm using this one time in the week and I only use it maybe once in the week, um, I will not use Tretinoin. I'll just wash my face and use this and then I will put um, a moisturizer on after to just kind of let my face, you know, really heal from that because it's kind of hard on your face. And then for those of you guys who have really sensitive corners of your eyes like I do, I use this CeraVe healing ointment that I put on my eyes as an extra barrier before I do the Tretinoin. So I do this squalene little eye cream stuff, but then I also use this so that I can help really just create, it's almost like petroleum jelly essentially, and it really just creates quite a barrier. And so if I do ever get that skin irritation or if you get it around here, or wherever you get it, this is really nice to put on, just kind of like lock in that moisture and keep your face hydrated. So essentially guys, that is everything that I do. Um, yes, I've had, I do Botox as well, so of course I do Botox. And I also have gotten filler done in my temples and I had filler last year put in right here. I would tell you I only did just a little bit of filler here and even just that little bit of filler here, I don't really like it and I probably won't do it again. I'll let the, the, this filler wear off over two years of time and I probably won't place any back there again because I just don't like, sometimes when you smile, it makes you look almost too full right here. 
So anyway, you just have to be careful with filler, guys. Go to a, a dermatologist or a licensed professional who really knows what they're doing with this stuff. And then, you know, Botox is a goat. You always do the Botox. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is my routine. I am so thankful that you care. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below.